Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be doing a three-way comparison between the Ram 1500 Limited, the GMC Sierra 1500 Denali, and the Ford F-150 Platinum to see which truck maker makes the best luxury truck. Before we get into this video, though, a huge shout-out and thank you to the Kengar Ford here in American Fork, Utah, and to National GMC for giving me some time with the F-150 Platinum, and then also to the GMC Sierra Denali. I'll include a link to both their inventories in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then, as always, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car link to my car buying guide in the description down below let's get into it Under the hood of the Ram, we have a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes to an eight speed automatic transmission. This also has the e-torque system. Anyways, power outputs 395 horsepower and then 410 pound feet of torque. There's another 130 pound feet of torque right off the line because of the e-torque. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 22 on the highway. Under the hood of the GMC Sierra, we have a naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 15 around town and then 19 on the highway with power outputs being 420 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. And then finally with the Ford, we have the Power Boost. So it's a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 paired to a hybrid system, goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 23 around town and then 23 on the highway with power outputs being 430 horsepower and then 570 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front ends, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the Ram Limited, this one has the night edition package. That's why everything's like all blacked out or like the bumpers, for example, are body painted and why we have the venting there on the hood. But overall, I think it's a pretty cool appearance with this night edition package. Notice there at the bottom, we've got tow hooks, we've got fog lights, we have parking sensors. Um, we've got really cool daytime running lights there with the LED headlights. So overall, I think they did a good job with the front end design. Now with the Sierra Denali, this has more of like a standard luxury truck appearance. That's why we've got the massive chrome front grille. You guys can see the C-shape for the daytime running lights. Um, just like the Ram, we've got fog lights, we've got tow hooks, we've got parking sensors. There isn't really a blackout package for the Denali. If you want a more sporty looking Sierra, you have to get something like the AT4 or AT4X, for example. And then with the F-150 Platinum, this one again has more like a standard luxury truck appearance. Um, but just like the other two, we still have tow hooks, we still have fog lights, we still have parking sensors on the front end. Now you can get a package similar to the package on the Ram, which blacks everything out in the Platinum. is called the Black Appearance Package, and it gives it like venting on the hood and everything like that. But if you want more of a standard luxury look, here you go. Now around the side here at the Ram, our tire wheel setup is 285, 45, 22 in the front and over in the rear as well. You guys can see the wheels are metallic gray, which actually matches the paint on this particular Ram. And then you guys can see here with the fender flares and then notice the mirror caps are actually blacked out. And then you got body painted door handles right there. And then here's your full side view with the Ram, which I think looks pretty sweet. Now with the Denali, our tire and wheel setup is 275, 50, 22 in the front and over in the rear as well. And you guys can see with the wheels, you got like the chrome inserts with the silver. I think that looks pretty dang sharp. And then look at the fender flare here, how it's kind of like small in size. Got a 6.2L V8 badge, Denali badge there. Chrome on the mirror caps as well as the door handles. And when it comes to the side profile view, this is the best I can do because well, it's squished between the other two trucks. Now around the side here at the Platinum, our tire wheel setup is 275, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here, chrome with the wheel design. Um, no fender flares, just uh, indentations in the fenders themselves. F-150 Platinum there, got power boost badge, chrome on the mirror and on the door handles as well. And then here's your full side view with the F-150. Now when it comes to suspension with the Ram, you've got independent suspension in the front. We're obviously looking at the rear here. Solid rear axle here, and then you guys can see we have air suspension on all four corners. Now with the GMC Sierra, independent front suspension just like the Ram, but notice here in the back we've got leaf springs, solid rear axle. And then with the Ford, just like the other two, independent front suspension, and then we've got leaf springs here in the back just like the Sierra, and then a solid rear axle. So here's a quick look at the key fobs with all of the trucks. You guys can see the Ford key fob here first, and then the GMC in the middle, and then the Ram there on the side. Functionality on them is identical. They all have remote start, they all have a tailgate drop down feature, but the Ram also has the air suspension drop down feature as well because, well, it's the only truck that has air suspension. Starting with the Ram, we have 1,256 pounds of payload capacity, and you guys can see we've got some LED bed light action on top of that. Uh, and this one has a tonneau cover, that's why it's kind of hard to do the uh, visuals on it. Um, but the bed is about five foot uh, seven in terms of the length. 
Now with the GMC Sierra, our payload capacity is about 1,380 pounds, and you guys can see just like the Ram, everything's already protected from the factory. We do have LED bed lights here as well as a full power outlet. Well, the outlet you can't really see, but trust me, it's there. Um, anyways, this one has a six and a half foot box. And then finally with the Ford, we have a payload capacity of 1,428 pounds. Um, notice we've got LED lights, power outlets, all that fun stuff. No bed liner though from the factory with this one, and this one's um, about a five and a half foot box just like the Ram. Now the next thing is going to be bed access. So this one has Ram's barn door tailgate here. So you guys can see we've got this giant step here in the center, which would obviously help you access the bed and yeah, funky tailgate. Now with GMC, we have the Multi Pro. You guys can see we've got this little step right, well, not little, pretty large step right here that goes across. And then you also have a handle as well, which would help you access the bed. And then finally, we have Ford set up here. You guys can see we've got the little step right there and then we've got a handle that you can pull all the way up and then that would help you access the bed now the only reason i'm showing this is because ford is the only one that has a bed step and an automatic raising tailgate now when it comes to rear styling with the ram you guys can see everything's all blacked out with this night edition package we've got the dual exhaust tips there at the bottom parking sensors um, now if you're wanting max towing capacity with a truck like this you're probably going to be around 11 ish thousand pounds if you have a 392 axle ratio now with the GMC Sierra, you can see everything's a little bit more boxy. Notice we also have the bumper steps here. We've got the squished exhaust tip covers, parking sensors just like the Ram. Now towing capacity, if this one had the max tow package on it, would be like 12-ish thousand pounds. This one doesn't though, so it's closer to 9,000 pounds. And then finally, here's the rear end of the Ford. You guys can see the giant platinum badge right there, plaque, whatever you want to call it. Parking sensors here at the bottom. And then with the max trailering package with the Ford, you're going to be again in that like 12-ish thousand pound range with towing capacity. Now popping into the rear cabin area of the Ram, first off you notice really nice material use here on the door panel. We've got these power side steps and then look at these beautiful leather seats. You can also pick them up. There's more storage underneath. They also recline. There's little ice buckets underneath. And then popping in, you can see legroom's great. Bedroom's great as well. Got a little storage pocket here. We've got some wood trim with the cup holders. Heated and ventilated seats. We've got power outlets as well, or a power outlet rather. And then this one actually has this cool pull down like center console setup. Now popping over to the GMC, you guys can see really nice material use. I love the cross stitch design. Power side steps just like the Ram. And then here are the leather seats in the Denali. We also have this like behind the seat storage or in the seat storage rather and then you can see you can lift up flat loading floor which is pretty nice and then popping in just as massive yeah super spacious you can see we've got a storage pocket here we've got cup holders heated seats some usbs and then we just have more of like a traditional little cup holder armrest and then popping over to the platinum this one has a pretty interesting set of materials you guys can see the leather trim mixed with like the suede here and then the wood power side steps just like the other two and then look at this two-tone interior here with the platinum lighting's actually horrible there so there's a better look at the seats and then popping in it seems like it's just as spacious as the other two then you guys can see here with the cup holders heated seats and then we've got some outlet action back here as well and then just like the gmc more of a traditional cup holder armrest and then popping over to the front of the Ram, the door panel here in the front is identical to the rear. Notice front two windows are automatic. Got power folding mirrors, memory seat function, more speakers for that Harman Kardon sound system, blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. And then here's the front seats with all the leather trim, power adjustments here on the side. You've got your pedal adjustments, parking brake, you can see with the light control, steering wheel is manually adjustable. And then we'll close that up, start her up. So, you guys can see with the uh, steering wheel, we've got nice leather trim. Now we've got adaptive cruise control with regular cruise control. Rear controls are on the back. we got our controls for the center stack. Um, this has wood trim. For 23, they don't put wood trim limited anymore. And then the other big difference is 23 will have a full digital gauge cluster. Um, this one doesn't because it's a 22. But those are the only changes is basically wood trim at the top of the steering wheel is deleted and then full digital gauge cluster. But this gauge cluster is still really nice. Now you can see here with the camera system, we've got full 360 here with the RAM, pretty good resolution with the viewpoints. And then as for the rest of the 12 inch display, um, well, first off, it's not even on for some reason. <laughs> um, response time with everything is pretty solid. It's pretty easy to 
use. Um, I lived with this for a couple of years in my Ram T-Rex and I'd say it's a good system. Now here's the adjustment for like the air suspension. You can see you've got like a tow haul mode, trailer steering, trailer brake controls integrated. Now this is important. Notice we've got a full four wheel drive select. So we have four wheel auto as well as four wheel high and four wheel low. We also have an axle lock with this particular one. And then the center console I think is a big highlight of Ram trucks. You guys can see it's got like measuring charts. This slides backwards and forwards. We've got a wireless phone charging pad inside, tons of storage. I mean, it is absolutely enormous. And then I also like how the glove box has wood trim on it. Um, pretty spacious, it says limited. Really nice leather trim all over the dash. Um, Ram definitely has like the most leather inside. And then this also has a camera mirror, which is pretty cool. And then power sliding rear window on top of that. Um, you can get a panoramic roof. This one doesn't have one. Now popping to the front of the Denali, you can see just like the back, really cool design with everything. And then you got the Denali plaque right there. We've got our window controls here, nose front two are automatic. And then you can also power fold in the mirrors. They also have blind spot monitoring. And then here are the seats. Notice this says Denali on it. And then look at the perforations all down the center and our power adjustments on the side. And then you guys can see here, we've got a drive mode select with a tow haul mode, drive line, just like Rams. So four wheel high, four wheel auto, four wheel low. And then your light controls, it's got a heads up display, um, power adjustment for the steering wheel. And then let's, solid. Ooh. So here's the steering wheel. Um, you guys can see that it's not as like luxuryized as the Rams. Um, this is basically just like every other Sierra steering wheel, but it does have paddle shifters here on the back for the 10 speed automatic. You got radio controls as well. You've got adaptive cruise control, all the important stuff. Full digital gauge cluster. This was new for 2022. And then this has drive mode. So you've got a sport and then an off-road mode, and then you've got a tow haul mode as well. And then when it comes to camera systems, full 360, just like the Ram, but I will say, I think there's better camera views with this and it's like on a slightly bigger screen. So the overall like viewpoints just a little bit better than the Rams. Um, and then as for the rest of the infotainment system, yeah, okay, we'll stay in Zemo mode. Uh, response time with the screen's really good. It's easy to use, has a shortcut bar. Definitely again, more simplistic than what you have with the Ram, there's a little bit less going on. And then down below you've got your controls for like your heated and cooled seats, all that fun stuff. And then you guys can see here a bunch of controls here. Important stuff, tailgate drop down, hill descent control. You can roll down all the windows at once, which is kind of hilarious. We've got our shifter here and then trailer brake controls, some cup holders, and then pretty big center console, obviously not as big as the Rams, but still has a wireless phone charging pad. I really like the wood trim here on the dash for the glove box, but double glove box, just like the Ram. I just think it looks cool how it fades. And then you have nice leather trim here on the rest of the dash. Um, just doesn't have the same like soft feel as the Rams. Anyways, you guys can see we've got the rear view camera mirror, we've got a center here at the top and then power sliding rear window. And finally, popping over to the Ford, you can see that like leather slash suede theme continues here. Um, automatic for the front two windows, just like the other two, you can power fold in the mirrors, you got memory seats, blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. And then here are the seats themselves. I think these platinum seats work really cool with this brown coloration. Power adjustments here on the side, by the way. Got our pedal layout down below. Um, pedals, you can adjust them, you get your light controls, mirror lights, tailgate drop down, steering wheels, power adjustable. And then Ooh. So here is the steering wheel. Um, just like the GMC Sierra, they don't really do a whole lot. I mean, it's got like some cool trim here at the bottom, but it's pretty much just like every other F-150 steering wheel. Got some controls here for the center stack, adaptive cruise control here on the other side, and then full digital gauge cluster. Again, you can get that in the new Ram um, in the GMC Sierra, you saw that. Bunch of different drive modes, just like the, well, unlike the other two, because well, the other two don't have nearly, well, Ram doesn't have any, and then the GMC Sierra has like a couple. Anyways, camera system. Definitely the biggest screen view, right? Especially when you compare it to the other two. So I'd say this and the Sierra are pretty close when it comes to camera systems and Ram's definitely in last place. That's the rest of the infotainment system. I like that, oops. I like that it's um, horizontally opposed and I think that response time with it's really solid. It's pretty easy to use. So I think that's a big plus. This has a trailer backup system, just like the Ram, trailer brake controls, drive line select, just like the other two, has a rear locking differential, heated and cooled seats. Um, no heated steering wheel though on this bigger one, dual zone climate, and then you guys can see wireless phone charging pad. Got the shifter here in the center, some cup holders, and then we've got our cool center console with the platinum logo and yeah, solid storage inside. And then we got wood trim 
on the glove box lid. That's the thing with these trucks, I guess, wood trim on the glove box lids. And then, yeah, the padding on the dash on this one's probably, ah, it's just like the Lariat, so. Anyways, we do have a power sliding rear window with this one. Um, no center, but you can get a panoramic. Now, when it comes to pricing, all of these trucks sticker for about $78,000. Now, if you would like to see a driving comparison with all three of these trucks, then I recommend you subscribe because I will be posting that at a later date. It'll be a completely separate video. But anyways, let me know which of these trucks you like the best based on the walk-around comparison.